Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today I wanted to share with you my second nail art from the Sailor Moon inspired nail art series and today it is time for Sailor Venus which is my favorite character from the Sailor Moon um, anime series so yeah for some reason um, my video is a little bit lighter I don't know what that was I think it was just really hot in my room so my lens got a little fogged up I don't know but if you want to know how I made this please keep on watching so first up I applied a good layer of my favorite base coat and after that I just went in with a really pretty light pink like a super light pink polish by OPI and I just applied two thin layers of that to all of my nails, making sure to cap off the edges as well. After that, I went in uh, fully with a neon orange polish on the ring finger and I just applied two thin layers to that, capping off the edge of the nail. And then I went in um, with a chevron tip and I just uh, hand painted this straight from the bottle with the brush of the nail polish itself. It is a nail polish by Hema by the way. And I'm going to do a chevron to the middle finger, the pinky and the thumb. And while you're making the chevron design to your tip, make sure to cap off the edges as well. And you want to do the same for the thumb, so we just did the pinky, the middle finger, and now it's time for the thumb. You could also just use um, like a little bit of tape or like striping tape to take uh, or to get this um, shape perfectly onto the nail. But this was actually my first time doing a chevron straight from the bottle onto my own nail, so I'm pretty proud of how it turned out. Then you want to take a little bit of water and I already cut out a couple of water decals I wanted to use and you just want to leave it in the water for about 20 seconds. After that you can just take it out, just get the water out of the way and just um, slide the water decal from the white uh, paper backing. Of course you want to make sure that before you put it um, into the water you get rid of the transparent little film that's on the water decal. Otherwise you can just throw it out and you won't be able to use your decal at all. So I'm just going to place little blue bows on top of the chevron tip nails so you want, want to do that three times in total and for the pinky and the middle finger i use the same size of bow i could have gone a little bit bigger on the middle finger but i only had like a smaller size and a bigger one and the bigger one was already just a little bit tiny or like good enough to go on the thumb because I didn't have any bigger um, bows so I just had to work with the things I had so I could have just um, hand painted the bows but that took like a lot of time and it was extremely hot in my room it's like 32 degrees celsius here in holland as well while i was recording this video so i really think that is um the reason why my lens is a little bit like fogged up or something i don't know but i'm really sorry about that all of the colors are really bright in real life then for the um, pointer finger we actually kept bare or at least bare with the lighter pink polish i'm going to apply a circle water decal with sailor venus on there i think this looks really pretty and really cute and we're going to bedazzle this um, nail really really much with a lot of stones and like a circular um metal thingy just a frame or something i really wanted to make it a beautiful beautiful nail so you just want to place that water decal in the middle of the nail and press it down gently with your finger to make sure that there isn't any water underneath there anymore so first up i just took some rhinestones and stuff out on my triangular little plate and i'm just going to bedazzle all of my nails so for the nails with the little bows i just took one of my smallest 
blue rhinestones and adhere that with a little bit of top coat and I'm just applying those with my crystal katana um, I got from AliExpress a little while ago. If you want any direct links to those products or any products in this video just let me know and I will just reply to you in the comments down below. So I'm just doing that for all three nails with the little blue bows. Just using a little bit of top coat and that's it. Then we're going um, ahead with the rest of the nails. So for the Sailor Venus one, so the pointer finger, you want to apply a good amount of top coat because we're adhere adhering that oval shaped um, frame. And I actually did bend that a little bit more because I kind of have a strong C curve in my natural nails. So I needed it to be a little bit more curved so it would fit a lot better. And you just want to make sure that you frame um, the Sailor Moon image with that. After that I just went over with another layer of top coat just to make sure it is completely encapsulated. And we're going in with a little bit of gel top coat. Um, within that frame as well but first I wanted to bedazzle it a little bit more with just some other rhinestones and just some other random um, orange stones I really like the combination of the blue and the orange I think it looks really cute and it are Sailor Venus um, colors so I think it really suits this design perfectly so I just randomly applied some stones just added wherever I felt like it need a little, little bit um, more or just a little bit extra and you can just go ahead and just place them wherever you want them you could actually go around the entire like frame with the smaller blue rhinestones as well but I thought that was a little bit too much because we are going to apply a ton of other stones to the completely orange nail as well and I didn't want the rhinestones to distract you too much from the pretty image within the frame because it are Sailor Venus nails so you have to be able to like see Sailor Venus as well if you know what I mean but just apply as many rhinestones as you want to then for the ring finger I actually made a mistake I went in with a beautiful essence polish but the blue jelly it was in was way too opaque and I didn't want that so I just took that off and just fixed my mistake with a little bit of orange polish and while that is drying you want to make sure that you clean up the cuticle area just get rid of all that flooding and while that's drying we're going in with a little bit of top coat um, this is like a gel top coat so you have to cure it and you want to make sure you apply a decent amount so it is a little bit more rounded like it's like fully encapsulated if you know what I mean and you just want to cure that for a full minute and that is what it looks like from the side and the front i think it's really pretty and then i went into the uh, ring finger again and i just added a silver holographic polish and i just gradiently faded that towards the tip area after that i wanted to bedazzle that just a little bit more because you know me i love my stones and i think a sailor moon nail art really deserves a ton of rhinestones and glitter and just everything so i just went in with some stones and i actually kept my mistakes in this video to show you that it's okay to make mistakes and also to show you how you can easily fix them so here you just see me uh, just swirling around the stones a little bit just to make sure they are where i want them to be i actually wanted to place that bigger blue stone on there as well and just go around that with some smaller rhinestones so I just went in the pot like directly. I didn't dunk it onto the plate because there were just a few smaller rhinestones I needed and I didn't feel like dunking out a lot more um, of those gems because I didn't need that much. <laughs> so just put them onto the nail the way you want them to be. Add a little bit more of that glittery polish or like a top coat to adhere if your polish is a little bit too dry. And yeah, just go with the flow.
I actually decided to take off that orange stone because I felt like it wasn't like prominent enough because of the orange background already. So I uh, just took off that orange stone and I wanted to go in with a blue stone. Just the same kind of little stone but just in the same blue shade as the bigger blue stone we already have on the nail. And I think it gives a really cute effect especially with the glitter underneath and it just pops out a lot more than the orange uh, stone was so as I said I really like showing you the little mistakes I make as well because we're all human and we're all just learning together how to make beautiful nails so if you make like a little mistake it's no problem at all you can easily fix it and I'm happy to show you my mistakes as well so we can learn together then to finish off this design just go ahead and put a, another layer or like a decent layer of top coat on the nails make sure don't to uh, to not go over all of the rhinestones because top coat has the tendency to make rhinestones dull for the smaller ones i always feel like they don't make them that dull so i just go over the smaller ones on um, the chevron tip nails with the little bows so yeah don't forget to cap off the edges as well and this was already the entire design i really hope you liked it if you have any questions or like if you want me to do another sailor moon character just let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to check out my first one which is the original sailor moon inspired one but yeah thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys in my next video